Right, I just want to do a little gripe, all right? VPD, you let me down, by the way. You did, big time. Yeah, it should have been here yesterday. And what happened? You said I wasn't in when I was sitting there waiting. I actually watched it on the tracker. You got, got to the next road, and then you went the other way. And you said, oh, sorry we missed you, but you wasn't in. Right, not only that, I did leave a message saying put it in my safe place if I wasn't in, or give it to my neighbour, who again was in. What happened? Why lie? Why not just say he's run out of time or something like that and he has to go back home? You don't need to keep lying, you people. Right, with that out of the way, <laughs> let's get on with the unboxing. So, remember Hellcrack? You know, I made a couple of videos on some of the computer cases. Well, they do do other things. Not just computer cases. And this is one of them, which I've been looking forward to doing. I've been thinking about buying one of these, actually, for a long time. This costs around about £40, pounds, so it's not expensive. And it's in a plain brown box. And that is to keep the cost down, so it saves you money. And also, if you're interested in buying something like this, they do have some software you can download, which I've done already, and I'm having a look at it right now, and it looks pretty good. And I might change the settings on it, I don't know yet, but we're going to run it as default to start with, and then, you know, maybe you can suggest the best way of me setting this up. So, instructions, yeah, it's in two languages, I'm guessing that's Chinese. I do apologise if it's Japanese or something else, Cantonese or whatever you want to call it, you know. I do apologise if I got it totally wrong. We have a USB. Now, I think that is a 3.2. It's definitely a 3. Point something, whatever it is, because it's purple. And it's USB to USB Type-C connection. Very good. We have the display itself, which is 3.5. Now, 3.5 inches. That is nicely preserved in there. Keep it from uh, getting damaged, hopefully. Get that out. There it is. Tiny little thing. I know I've got fingerprint on it now, but there's a peel off there, so it's not going to affect it. USB Type-C connection on the side. Am I talking too much? USB, oh, USB Type-C connection on the bottom, which is handy because you might find that having it on the side is in the wrong position, which is on the... I'm not sure if that's the right or the left. It depends which way up it goes. I'm taking, you can you can turn it up and down. I don't know, you might even be able to do it long ways. But yeah, it's got a nice little weight to it. It's not heavy heavy, but it's got a nice little weight to it. Comes with some stickies. I'm guessing that's so you can just stick it to something on the back. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm gonna be putting it. It's going on the computer, by the way, but I'm not sure where yet. I'm not sure which one I'm putting it on, whether it be on my Sahara Gaming one, the one I use mainly, or 99.9% .9 of the time at the moment, which is that one over there, or whether I'm using the EVGA, which is over there, it's a DG87. I always planned years ago to uh, do something like this on, on that, because it's got a fantastic layout on it. It'd be perfect for that. So I'm not sure where I'm putting it yet. We will get to that. So a mounting bracket, I'm guessing, looks like that moves. I don't want to break it in case I'm wrong. But that looks like it's on the hinge, so I would have thought that did move. Oh, it's a little hinge there. Right, I do need to read the instructions. Let's see what's underneath, if anything. Yeah. Oh, no, what's this? Uh, oh, there you go. H HCS. HCS. Please download software for from the following link or scan the Q code. Right, like I said, I've already downloaded it. So for forty pound you are getting a three point five inch screen. It's not massive, but it should do what I want it to do and display I want it to display basically what's on there, the temperatures, you know, things like that. GPU temperatures, CPU, you know, processors, anything like that. I quite like that sort of information. So with that, I do need to read the instructions. So that's going to run off a USB rather than HDMI. Because I did think originally that'd be HDMI. Not sure what that's for. But like I said, I need to read the instructions. First impressions for £40. It's about right. It's not cheap, but it's not expensive. And it should give me some really good results. Plus, you're getting the software with it as well. 
I know before anyone says anything, you know, you can download free software anyway. But they've got everything covered for you, actually online, ready to go. So with that, I'll be back. I've had a little play about with it, so I know exactly what I'm doing to a point. So starting off with the cable length, it is just over 1.4 meters long, so it's quite a good length, but I'm using this cable and purely for the fact that this cable is about three meters long and I don't have to stretch the cable to reach from the computer to the actual monitor, just to make it easy. If you need to know how to do the stand, I've done that as well. It's quite simple, these, these little cutouts here and that will slot in there if you need to use the stand. It's only a bit of plastic, but it helps. So you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be using that because obviously I want to put in the computer at some time. Now then, let's get this off. It's quite tough actually. <laughs> Move that out of the way. Yes, three and a half inch. Now it does say you can use the bottom or the side. I'm going to be using the side, and I do believe you can actually rotate it as well if you need to. So if you want it upright, you can rotate it. Okay, just in case you need to know that too. I've already installed the software. That was quite easy. I did put it in a separate folder. In here. Oh, it's come up on the wrong screen. No, it's in now. So all the bits are in now. Yeah, user manual downloaded as well, but haven't actually read the user manual yet because you don't need to. And I did do a little bit of practicing installing it and stuff like that and making sure everything works. Now then, before we uh, connect, if you click on Theme Editor, this does take a little bit of time to load up. So be patient, all right? Don't click on it because it may come up and say, oh, it's not responding. And then you've got to start all over again. Just be patient. Give it a few seconds. It's a bit slow. Right, there you go. So in this bit, you can add themes. I'm taking, you can add, modify, restore, dynamic info, background, you can change the background, uh, modify background, restore background, backlight, you can light settings, light switch. I'm not touching any of this. And user themes, add user themes so you can make your own themes. I'm not going to play about with anything like that at the moment, okay? I've already been playing about. Now, the default one, all poo pants in the pants pool. I didn't mean to do that. The default one isn't this one because I've been playing about with it. The default one is that and it works fine. So if I adjust my volume level, see that? Can you see it? No, you can't see it because you know why you can't see it? Because we haven't connected it to this yet. Okay, so what we need to do is get this up, software, plug her in. I'm doing it on the side. So, give it. A f make sure you hear the doo -doo from you know Windows, whatever. Click on Run, and it should come up straight away. Look at that. See that straight away. Now, like I said, you can adjust the brightness and stuff like that. So that is actually running. So brightness. Turn that down a bit. Yeah. Turn it up. See that? Pretty good. Easy to use. So that is your brightness. Now, should you need to change the theme, you have to stop it first, go into themes and click on that. So you've got that one. Let's try that one. See what that looks like. That might be the other way around. So that'd be that way. See that? That's quite good actually. I'm not sure if you can see that properly on the actual unit itself. Yeah, I quite like the first one. Let's stop that again. Also I like the way it, it, it also like the way it rubs it out sort of thing, yeah? Let's do that one, let's have a look. Da, da, da. So that is just showing the CPU. There shouldn't be a lot happening on the CPU anyway. So it's got the date on there as well, that's not showing up. Let's go back to the original one, which is this one. Click on run. So you've got this volume, RAM usage, you've got GPU, GPU, RAM. Let's see if this does anything now. Uh, what way am I going? 90, down, down, down. Hmm, interesting. Oh, there you go. So it takes a few seconds for it actually uh, to get all the information in there. But it's up and running. Right, volume levels. That's showing 100. I am down to 60. Uh, there you go. It's working now. So volume levels have gone down. You've got GPU at 24. 
You've got RAM at 17 usage, RAM used, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of blah, blah, blahs, and processors do nothing. Uh, because it's not doing nothing. It's dead. We killed it. So yeah, works extremely well. Easy to set up, by the way. Very easy. Once you download software, link in the video description in case you need to find it. But yeah, very easy. It's got loads of presets on it. Let's stick that back up in volume on 100. That's gone up to 100. That's not doing nothing yet. Why are you not doing nothing? Oh, it's got a clock on there as well. Just realised. And the spot on. Yeah. It's got the, is that the date? Yes, date up there. That's correct. Networking, 19 kilobits per second, 18.6 kilobits download, upload, download. Yeah, cool. Let's have a look at some of the themes. Right, I'm going to start from the bottom. What's this one called? Test. Oh, I see. So you can make your own. That would be in configurator. I'll take it. So I'm going to click on that. Oh, that come up straight away. Uh, Ethernet. Wow, this is easy, isn't it? Already got some of the stuff. Change the language, we're not doing that. Location, yeah, we're not touching that. Vietnam? Yeah, okay, Taiwan. What's that one? Oh, right, different uh, formats for your text. Cool. And then you can save. Automatically run. I'm going to leave that turn off. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what other themes you've got. Oh, there's a little rabbit one. Let's have a look. And don't forget, it does take a few seconds for it to come up. That might actually be better, actually. There you go. It takes a little while to come up. So we have CPU at 2%, that's about right. Yeah, GPU at 21%, and RAM at 17%. That's quite easy to read, isn't it? Yeah, very good. Uh, let's stop that. See what else is on here. Oh, God. Not sure about that one. Or that one. Oh, you might like that one. Football. What if you can just scroll? Oh, you can, you can. At the moment, that's my favourite. At the moment. But I might change it again later. Give it a few seconds. Oh, that seemed to be a lot faster. Oh, not everything's up and running yet, though. Clock is, though. Oh, actually, it's not running anything on there, neither, is it? CPU showing nothing. I'll take it as a CPU. Disk space. Anyway. Let me know in the comments if you think there's a better pattern out there for this. Oh, there you go. It's all coming up now. For this, so that you can run, you know, or see it more clearly. I quite like that one. I'm not sure where I put it yet though. And don't forget we have the stickies. So I'm guessing the stickies will go down there to hold it in place and maybe down there. Or you may be able to stick it on the back somewhere. Oh, the other thing I wanted to point out now, I've, I've just seen it. You can use this four pin connection as well instead of this, but it does state in there, or the, in the instructions, if you're going to use the 4-pin connection, do not use USB and vice versa, okay? You can only use one or the other because it might damage the unit. So I'm very impressed so far. I have no issues with it whatsoever. It's a little bit slow on getting the information over, but once it's set down, or once it's all set up, it seems to work really well. So now what I've got to decide is what computer is going to go on? And whereabouts I'm going to be putting it in. Can you guess which one I am going to stick it in? One on the left or the one on the right? Did you get it right? It's the one on the left. And the reason I put it on the one on the left is because the one on the right, I'm thinking about getting another one. But I'm thinking about getting a bigger screen because I think it'll look even better. I'm quite happy with that one.
I'm quite happy with the software. There is something I want to tell you about the software, so stick with it because you might find it useful if you decide to buy one of these and use their software. And I've tried other software and that does play up sometimes as well. So uh, with that, yeah, like it so far, I'm very happy with it. You know, like I said, I think I would prefer a bigger screen, but if I get another screen, it's going in that one first. Try that one out. Now the software. Yes, it's working okay. Sometimes it doesn't work. Don't ask me why, but sometimes it won't work. It could be the USB connections you plug it into. I did plug it into my switch or plugged it into one of my monitors that has USB that goes into my switch. And when I changed screens or computers, sorry, when I changed computers, it still worked. So I'm not sure what's going on there, whether it's my USB connections or what, but at the moment I have it plugged in only on that computer over there and it's running to, or it's running on USB. I didn't use a four pin connection because I wasn't sure whether or not to or not. And the cable's long enough for me to run it into the back of the computer without showing any cables. So I'm happy with that, that's fine. And I use their stickies just to stick it on the actual front door of my actual computer screen. It works, does the job. Yeah, it looks all right. Now then, let's get back to the software. Now, something I found out, I'm not sure if this is why sometimes it doesn't work and why sometimes it does, but just, just for trying it out, it might benefit you. If you have any issues, try this first. So stop it. If you can't get it to work, if it's not coming up no numbers actually on the screen, like on here, if you can't see no numbers or anything, and that's just like a little red dot or something, then try this. Now go to configuration. Bring it down a bit so you can see it, see? Now, I found that this and this, which is network device and sound device, when I first start it up, it's normally blank. So I selected what network connection I'm using, which is this one here, like so. And speakers, I'm choosing the correct speakers, which is that one there. And also, I put it on automatic run. So, in theory, it should just start up. But if it doesn't, you just go into your folder and start it up manually. I'll show you that in a second as well. So save that, and then you just click on run. And, yeah, it's running. Now then, to prove that it's running, if I adjust the volume, it's the one down here, yeah? Yeah, that's moving. But if I adjust that and turn it down to, I don't know, 80, Something like that, 80. Now that should go down, which it has. So if I go back up to 100, 100, there you go. So we know it's running. But like I said, it is a bit iffy sometimes, but I don't know why. I'm thinking it might be all the USB connections I've got. It could be just too many. And also I run my USB through my, my KVM switch. So it could be that as well. But at the moment it's working fine, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Minimise that, so that's down in there. It's a little square thing there, see? That, so you can show. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Sometimes it doesn't show. Click on show, look. It's not, not popping up. Again, I don't know why, but as long as it works, if you need to show it, all you gotta do is close it. Yeah, uh, exit. Open up your folder again, here's, here's my folder, to quickly show you. So I've extracted it and I've extracted it into a folder. And all you need is that one there. So double click that, click yes. Give it a few seconds, starts up. Uh, check configuration. As you can see, it's got everything on. Oh yeah, the other thing is, well I live in Kent, but on their list of cities, there's nothing for Kent. <laughs> so I'll pick London, because that was the nearest one. Save it. And same as if you want to change the themes. You know, that does take a little bit of time for some reason to load up. Yeah, there, there you go. Seems to get quicker as you, the more you do it. Uh, backgrounds and stuff like that. That's a different one, isn't it? Backlight, user themes, add themes. I'm not going to change my theme at the moment. And click on run. And it should be working. Let me do it now. That might not be running. And I'll give it a few seconds, it is running. But yeah, that's working fine. So with that, if you're thinking about buying one of these and you want to use that software, I should stick a link in the video description to the website. So you can go and buy the actual item itself. You can either buy the small one like I've got at the moment, or you can buy the bigger ones, as far as I know. But I will be 
I probably will be buying a bigger one because I found it, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, I found it very exciting to do. It was new to me. I've never done one before and it works. Yeah, like I said, a little bit buggy, but it works. So with that, link in the video description, go and check it out. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments as well. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. Ching, ching. Drink my coffee now. Tea. Sorry, tea.